This quick tip inside DaVinci Resolve saved me hours. Let's check it out. Let's take a quick look at the clip we're working with. So I started playing string instruments when I was four years old. As we can see, it looks great. Um, a lot of the times though, when you're dealing with these documentary style videos, you're working with a lot of shots that are maybe locked down tripod shots and it, it, it can be a little static. So a quick and easy way to just up the production value a little bit is just add a little bit of motion to the clips, a little zoom in or a zoom out to emphasize certain points. And in the past, me personally, in something like Adobe Premiere, I would go into the scale settings and set a keyframe at the beginning, move to the end, set another keyframe and adjust it in between but this little option here in DaVinci Resolve makes that so easy so let's check it out you want to come right over here to the dynamic zoom option and just give that a toggle on so I started playing string instruments when I was four years old so as you can see already some motion looks great um, a quick way say you don't want it to zoom out but you'd rather push in all you're gonna want to do is click this little swap button so I started playing string instruments when I was four years old. Looks fantastic, and it took, what, two seconds? Um, but let's say you wanna get in there and customize it a little bit more. Uh, if you come over here and click on this little drop-down menu, just click on dynamic zoom. As you can see now, we have two boxes, one green, one red. The red indicating where your clip is going to end, and the green where it'll start. So let's say we want to push in a little further and a little quicker. There we go, and we can adjust the position. I don't know, we'd say maybe you want them to end up on a third of the screen, but let's just see how that's looking right now. So I started playing string instruments when I was four years old um, in Suzuki Violin School. So yeah, I don't know why you'd want to have it do that in this particular case, but as you can see, super customizable, super quick, and there's even a few more options over here for the, for the keyframe ease in, ease out. Uh, as you can see, that'll kind of make it so it eases into the movement. So I started playing string instruments when I was four years old um, in Suzuki Violin School. So yeah, that's all I have in this quick video, but I hope you found it helpful. If you did, the best way to help us out is by giving the video a like and subscribing if you want to see more content like this, and we'll catch you in the next one.